my name is Tristan Guerin. I'm from Fredericksburg, Texas, and I, I've broken over 50 world records. So uh, this is my wall of certificates. These are all the records that I've broken. It goes from that over there. These are my Guinness World Records books, and I was actually featured in both of those books. I first found out about Gaming World Records uh, through the Challengers website. I was Googling Guinness World Records, because you know everyone wants to be a Guinness World Records breaker. Well, my first record just kind of train wrecked into a giant mass of world record addiction, and uh, it's been really interesting. I've graduated from just iPhone games to Nintendo DS, 3DS, Wii, Wii U, Xbox. Uh, I'm even trying on some PS3 right now. Uh, I've just gone all over sorts of platforms to break records on. Tristan Guerin holds uh, a multitude of video game records and we are going to illustrate just a few for our next Gamers Edition. We're going to do the photo shoots mainly in the high school that he currently attends. It's a bit of a thrill because it's like every American movie you've, you've ever seen based on the school. It's a perfect venue so uh, we're really excited about it. I'm really excited for the photo shoots today. Uh, they mailed me some costumes. I'm pretty excited. I'm going to be dressing up as Link, uh, Super Mario, Freddie Wong, and uh, Matt Bonner from the San Antonio Spurs. Some of my favorite games to break records on are definitely the NBA 2K records. I love the NBA 2K. I like 2K9. There's a lot of records on that one. And then 2K14, there's a lot of records. So it's for the free throw record, I would say it's a lot of picking the right player and definitely timing the releases right. But, uh, I love the NBA 2K because I'm a huge NBA fan, I'm a big basketball guy, and so it's always fun to play video games close to home. So uh, for the Super Mario 3D Land record, it takes a lot of skill, but uh, for this record, you do a rolling somersault, and it gets you really far ahead, and then it's just a matter of jumping at the right time, hitting the right obstacles, hitting the mushrooms to give you extra speed. So for Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, it's kind of a tough one because it's really close to a max score. And if you hit a little target, it takes points down. So you have to be really precise in where you're shooting. Sometimes you can even hit two at one time. But uh, at the very end, one little board comes out and peeks out before everything else leaves. But it's like with a second left. So you kind of have to put up a shot and hope that it makes it. And then if you can hit it, Usually you can break the world record, but if you can't, you're never going to beat it, and it's really tough. So uh, Flower Warfare is an app for the iPhone, and it started out uh, by a YouTuber that goes by Freddie Wong. That one, I don't even, that was one of the first gaming records that was on Challengers, and it was pretty random to me, so I was like, oh, that seems like a fun record, so I ended up playing it. And that one takes endurance. That one is one of my 30-minute records. Definitely one of the more enduring records. It had to take a long time, a lot of patience, and, but it was definitely a lot of fun. My biggest inspirations are probably Silvio Saba. He holds a ton of records, even he actually was the person that broke my first record. So it's a bittersweet relationship. He's really, he's really talented. Uh, Steven Kish, he's also on Challengers. He's amazing. He's done video game records. He's done non-video game records. He's done it all. He's on TV. He's incredible. And Ashrita Furman, of course, he has the most world records. He's super talented. He's the guy all record breakers look up to, and so you just look at those guys and they have tons and tons of world records and you want to be just like them, so you go out there and break tons and tons of records and hopefully I'm an inspiration to some of the young gamers on the site. And that's a really cool thing to think about.